tutorial I'm going to show you how you can actually use a feed reader. Now a feed reader is a, is a client, a web web based client, it doesn't have to be, it can be a desktop client as well but predominantly the best ones are, are web based clients that allows you to get all your news and information in one place and by that I mean you can subscribe to all these different websites that you regularly go to and instead of having to go to these websites you can get all your news and information in one place. So as an example I can click on, I can, I can get feeds from, if you look under, I've created all these categories here, okay, and you can create new ones, but you, you can create your own, um, but I can, I can click on the designs one, and it shows a couple of websites that I'm, I'm subscribed to here, like I'm, I'm subscribed to four different websites for design, okay, now, and what that does is, I subscribe to the website, and then it brings in the content from that. So I'm going to subscribe to uh, another website now, and I'm going to show you how, how to do it. Now, I would say if, if it's a modern website, so anything up that's been built in the last couple of years, it will have a feed. Some of them don't, but that's just the way they are. And some of them, like CNN, have, have feeds for different sections of their website. So if you're only interested in politics or, or uh, philosophy or um, business or whatever, you can, you, you'll be able to find a feed to, to those to those different sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a, uh, one of my favourite websites, smashingmagazine.com. Um, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can subscribe to this website using the, the feed reader. So basically all I'll do is copy the URL. I've got a couple of choices. I can copy the URL and the software will find the feed. Or you'll see a little icon there and see it says subscribe to our feed. They've already got 11,000 subscribers to it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just do this. This is the easiest way. It's just copy the URL. I'll go to that and then I'll click on add content. I'll click in Smashing Magazine and, and I'll click enter and it will find the, it'll find, there it is. It found the feed. Okay, Smashing Magazine feed. I'll put that under design I, or I can create a new category if I want. And that's what you'll find where your category is. I'll just put the title of it to Smashing Magazine and then I'll click update and now that's now that's part of my feed so if I go to my feeds go to best design click on smashing magazine and it will show all, all the different latest feeds all the different the latest articles that are written so you'll see here absolute horizontal backbone JS JavaScript so you'll see that these are all the different news items on the site all the blog items it doesn't pick up pages or anything like that so I've just subscribed really quickly to that theme. And if they, if they add any new content, I don't have to go to their website. I'll get a snapshot of the content here, okay, under this category. Okay, so you, you can see, you know, there's a couple of fitness ones. There's uh, uh, lifestyle. Um, there's uh, gear and gadgets, which I love, and go through those. So you can subscribe to hundreds, you know, of, of websites that you regularly uh, go to just by using this feed reader. And it's, it's a perfect way to get all the news and information under all these different categories. You can subscribe to a thousand websites if you like. And if, if, if a website's getting boring over time, you can remove that. You can, you can easily remove a, a, um, a, a website. Okay. So basically, uh, that's, that's pretty much how you do it all, all right? Um, now, if you have a look here, I'm going to show you the next stage is how you can actually, if you like something, to actually share it. So we're going to go here. I'm going to look down to something I think is pretty cool. Here we go. Nestrest Hanging Pod. I click on the title and then I get a little pop-up. Now I can share that with Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. I can also save it to, uh, or to Buffer. I can email it to a friend. I can save it for later, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my Google Plus wall. So I just click on that, wait for it to bring in the information. If I'm happy with that photo, I can choose another photo if I like, if there's more than one. Okay, and then I'll go Coolio. Oops, Coolio. And what I'll do is, because I'll, I'll tag it as well, um, Tree, I'll tag it Treehouse, okay, and I'll click on Share. Now I've shared that I've shared that to my to my um, Google Plus wall. I can also share it to Twitter and all that sort of stuff I like. Okay, so then I'll, I'll I'll click I've read that one. I'll click that I've read it. 
Okay, I'm just trying to look for something else that's cool. I'm going to show you something else that I, that, that I think I can do. That's a pretty cool idea, this one. Now, what this is what I'm going to do now is instead of sharing it uh, with in, in Google to, to the public, I'm going to share it to a, a... I can share it to a circle of all my circles, of all my people on, on Google+, or I can share it to a page, okay, or I can share it to a community, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this to um, my let's let's share it with uh, I'm going to share it with a circle, okay? Um, Ginger, okay. So this this will only be this 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 will only be shared. Sorry, um, this will only be shared with the people uh, in my Ginger circle. So. Um, I'm going to tag it pool table and click share. You can also send an email to all the people there, but I wouldn't do that unless it was something you thought was really, really important. So you can share it to uh, circles, pages or communities, uh, your Google Plus communities. The same thing can be said for Twitter and all these other ones as well. So they basically, uh, once you mark it as read, it disappears from your your, uh, your your list, and you can also click on here and say um, mark all of them in in that as read. Okay. Now you can also the, the final thing I'm going to show you is how to actually arrange it. So I've got it arranged that way. I can arrange it this way. I can arrange it that way. I can arrange it um, in blocks like that. So you can have it set up however you like it to be set up. But it's a great tool for getting it, for doing your daily news without having to go to all these different websites. Um, okay, so that's pretty much uh, how you use Feedly. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you've got any questions, just add the questions to, uh, to, the, uh, to, to the comments to the video. Thank you.